Sun from Business Tech. Today we are here with another session. And in recent times, sellers are facing three major issues, uh, which are how customers find my product, what they search, which led them to come on our product, and uh, either uh, our product is shown in their search query or not, and what kind of decision they made after uh, finding the product, either they bought the product or they left it. Previously, uh, it's uh, really difficult to calculate market share on Amazon for a brand, and we can do with the help of uh, third party tools but now Amazon launched such analytics dashboard and today we are go going to cover all the questions that can came in the mind of salad and we are going to have discussion on it. So today we have Usman and Buleha with us and let's have a conversation with them. Hi Usman, how are you? I'm doing great sir, how about you? I'm good, thank you so much for asking. Hi Buleha, how are you? I'm good sir, how are you? I'm good, thank you so much for asking. So Usman, uh, let's move towards you. Uh, as you know, we are going to discuss the search analytics dashboard. Dashboard. So, would you like to share with the audience what is such analytics dashboard and how it can benefit the sellers? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you sir for having me again to have a discussion with you. I was waiting for a long time yeah. to discuss about this cool feature yeah, used by Amazon. It's very cool feature. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited mm -hmm. that I got the opportunity to speak yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. So, let me start today's discussion. Uh, so. Amazon expanded its offer for the brand mm -hmm. register sellers in 2022 and the launch of the search analytic dashboard is one of the latest edition made by the Amazon. Despite it being still in beta, most of the sellers or the brand owners who have access to the brand analytics should have access to this new dashboard right now. While some of the information was previously available in other formats, but now with this new dashboard and new link tell us how our brand is performing in different search results. It gives us the data of all the actual performance from after a buyer put a search query on the Amazon. And this new dashboard gives sellers a lot of visibility into how sellers search for and purchase their product Amazon. And this tool is only available to the brand seller centers users. And uh, this new program was first announced at Amazon Extra Lit at the quarter 4 of 2021. And uh, I would say that this new dashboard uh, gives sellers with a wealth of the anonymized data that help them to better understand uh, their customer choices and the shopper interest for their product. And with the help of this information, uh, sellers can better optimize their listing. They can also uh, plan their inventory, also develop the uh, perfect uh, product development roadmap, which can help them to increase their sales both on and offline and uh, as I personally believe that this is one of the greatest tools that Amazon has ever launched. I have worked on it, I have experienced this tool and I got it very uh, valuable for the sellers and the brand owners and uh, this is definitely going to give the sellers a lot of the benefits in their sales in, in quarter 4 that is coming and that is already started and uh, to <coughs> better uh, utilize the deal limits as well. That's great, that's great. So as we uh, all are know, Amazon is improving their system day by day and they they are doing a lot of improvements in the thing. So Zalama, would you like to uh, share with us why Amazon need to launch this uh, tool and how we can get access of this? Yes, of course. First of all, thank you so much for inviting us. So uh, if we talk about uh, why Amazon launched this tool, mm -hmm. as you know, Amazon continuously work to provide the authentic data to the seller, which mm -hmm. help them to get a good conversion. For this purpose, Amazon is also updating their system and its feature time to time for the mm -hmm. ease of the buyer and seller. So for this purpose, Amazon also launched this tool, which help them to get the information and provide the data, data authentic, mm -hmm. and uh, we show you the exact information on how any customer search your product data related to your brand and catalog. So this is uh, this information information shown that uh, the complete journey of the buyers uh, just like starting from the start that how anyone search for your product and uh, the complete process from search to the purchase of the product so it show the complete information of the, the uh, of the buyer search so uh, if we talk about how to get access of this tool, this is an easy way. Yeah, you just uh, have to open your seller center account and if you are brand owner, you have the access of the brand tab. Uh, you have to click on that. There is an option of the search analytic dashboard uh, tools. Uh, so if you click on that, from the drop down menu, you see that a green uh, banner on the top, you have to click on that. So you can access of this tool from there. 
Great. So, would you like to share with the audience? Does it available for all all the sellers and uh, for the all all the marketplaces? Are uh, there a difference for the sellers and for the marketplaces? Uh, no, it's not available for all the sellers. Uh -huh. Only the brand registered sellers have an access of this tool because it's related to your brand. It's providing the information related to your brand. So, it's only available for the brand owner uh, owners. So, uh, the, uh, you must have the prime uh, prime account access, or you have to be granted access from the prime account. Uh, so, uh, in this way, you can access of this tool and if we talk about the marketplace as you know that is uh, still in beta variant Amazon still working to update the system uh, until it's finalized it's in beta variant so Amazon updating the things time to time first it's only available for the US marketplaces but from last week it's available for all marketplaces so you can access of this tool for, for all marketplaces as well Got it, got it, great. So, Shman, would you like to tell me uh, what type of report we can get from the search analytics dashboard? And that's really a good question, I would say. Mm -hmm. And as far as I think that the search analytic dashboard will enhance the existing brand mm -hmm. analytics suits of aggregate, of aggregate data report, which includes the report like repeat purchase behavior, market basket analysis, item comparison, alternate purchase behavior, and demographics as well. Mm -hmm. and for uh, several years, Amazon has offered brand registered sellers a tool like uh, Amazon search terms that includes the data like search frequency, link, click data, and conversion share. Now, with this new tool that is Amazon Search Analytic Dashboard uh, that goes even deeper into the buyer shopping experience. And with this new dashboard, now we have two more tools uh, that are named as uh, <clears throat> Catalog Performance Dashboard and Search Query Performance Dashboard. Got it. So, uh, would you like to tell me what's the difference between uh, Catalog Performance and Search Performance and what type of information we get from? As Mr. Osman explained very well that uh, mm -hmm. in this dashboard we have different features, different tab you can say we have available. So, most of the uh, two, uh, two to four uh, feature that is available in this dashboard is already available in the brand analytic dashboard. Amazon just replaced the position of that. Uh, the new uh, feature that is available now is the Catalog Performance Dashboard mm -hmm. and Query Performance Dashboard. So, uh, first, if we talk about the catalog performance dashboard, in catalog performance dashboard, Amazon Pro helps the uh, brand owner uh, to understand the sales funnel at the product level. Mm -hmm. Seller will be able to understand the uh, conversion issue and drop off point where they lose the customer retention. Uh, this will also help them to uh, analyze the price competitiveness and the analyze uh, at the optimization of the listing and inventory as also. So, if we compare this catalog performance dashboard with the QD performance dashboard, uh, uh, in QD performance dashboard, but this will help the seller to identify the exact query that are shown for a particular product that are associated with your brand. So, uh, as you know, no one tool is available that will provide us the information at the query level. So, this will help them to show the exact keyword or query for, uh, which helps some seller to identify and you can target the exact query in the exact campaign or in exact marketing uh, campaign. So, this will also help them and also help them to uh, expand your product portfolio according to the interest and need and demand of the customer. So, this will also help. In, uh, as a uh, QD. So, if we compare this uh, two, the both are very useful and um, the, uh, there is a lot of different columns available in this report. Uh, the, the headings and name are the same in both dashboard, but there is a difference. Sometimes you may be confused with the heading that they are showing the same data, but there is a difference between them. Yes, Ms. Rahim, you are right. Let me uh, share my own experience that uh, there is a difference between these two. Um, if we talk about uh, catalog search, catalog performance dashboard in this uh, if we, the, as you explained about the clicks impressions and add to cart it shows you the data about your own catalog about your own essence but if we talk about the search query performance dashboard it gives you the data first it gives you the data of that query overall data of the query that that query gets from all other competitors on the amazon but uh, after that it also gives you the brand share what is the brand share from that impression from that clicks and from that add to cart of yours uh, i think Think that uh, the search query performance dashboard is more valuable and it, it is one of the addition made by the Amazon. Yes, and if we talk about this query performance dashboard, Amazon first launched a catalog performance dashboard, but after the feedback of the sellers, Amazon launched a different tab of the query performance dashboard mm -hmm. because as you know, as a seller, we have the most important thing is the keyword because everything is depend on our keyword and our sales and ranking also depend. So if we talk about the columns that are available inside this report is the first thing in the query 
query performed the dash board is available the query mm -hmm. so the most arguable and important part of this report is that the query uh, as you know that uh, is show that the exact product that are shown on specific uh, product on a specific query mm -hmm. the, and how your query perform against your product mm -hmm. so as you know in the past we are depend on the helium 10 and other tools for the query performance and the reverse search mm -hmm. they are also provided us the good result but ultimately they are providing on estimation yeah, uh, yeah the, uh, but this tool is available inside the amazon and it is provide the authentic data and if you compare the result of these uh, two tools uh, there is a lot of difference uh, helium time may be give you the more result as compared to this but again it's depend on the estimations so uh, if we move to the next column data available uh, in this report is the impressions as you know the most important thing that how any query performed and after perform how an impression you get received against any query for your particular brand so this is not only show you the total impression of search query but it also shows you the, how many impression you will receive against any query for your product or for your specific brand so amazon named this as a brand count um, so the, as a brand count means how any specific sellers or brand can receive an impression against any query mm -hmm. you are right ma'am I would like to add my own point in this that um, our viewer must be confused that uh, what is the difference between our search query volume and the impression. So I would like to some put some light on it and that if we talk about the search query volume, uh, it, it, it gives you the data, it, it gives you the insight that uh, if a buyer search a specific search query on Amazon, the search query volume, it is the number of the time uh, that the specific search query is written or put by the uh, buyers on the Amazon search bar. And uh, if we talk about the impressions, impressions are the number of the results or the number of the essence that pop up after putting that search query in the search bar. Uh, so that uh, for that search queries there can be multiple impressions so that's why we see that uh, most of the impressions are greater than the search query volume data mm -hmm. Yes. So, if we uh, so as Mr. Smala explained the search query and impression, so if we move to the next column that, that is available is the click. Uh, the most important no one tool is available that will uh, do, uh, explain you that how many click uh, of your product is getting. Yeah. So it show the total click of against search query and that also share uh, show the uh, brand shares of your uh, product. So it show how many uh, click of your brand is getting and also show the brand share. It mean that how many percent uh, of of your product is being shown is showing the percentage amount as well so uh, there is an also an option in this column is the same day shipping speed uh, it's still confusing uh, confusing here because amazon not shown exactly the information about this uh, because as you know uh, most of the time we are uh, selling as a fba yeah. so the uh, same day shipping is not uh, in our uh, control so uh, amazon is still not uh, clearly for uh, for how uh, they mention this and what is the purpose of uh, mentioning this so it's still confusing here mm -hmm. But uh, the, maybe in future they will provide yeah, us the exact. The session, yes. So maybe day by day they, they will provide us the exact information for here. So uh, the last column and the most important column, if we move toward, so uh, so this one is the purchasing and add to cart. The most mm -hmm. important thing that no one other tool is available mm -hmm. that provide us this information. Yeah, so in this information it shows that how many person click on your product and after clicking how many person click on add to cart and how many person are uh, per actually purchase your product so all this information is available here it's not it's not only show the uh, paid uh, but also provide the information of the organic uh, as you know the helium 10 and, and all, uh, uh, all other tools are not providing as such data so amazon also provided this data for us so this is the unique and new feature we show the search query and clicks and impression and add to cut the in actual amount and figure in this tool available. Yeah, definitely it's the inside data and I yes. don't think so any other third party tool had access to that only Amazon can provide yes. us this kind of detail. So as we were talking about the uh, add to cart and the purchase behavior that is uh, very important for any of the seller. So Usman, uh, would you like to tell me how Amazon define the impression uh, and add to cart and uh, clicks? in query performance dashboard. Yes, as Ms. La has explained mm -hmm. each of these terms very well. And so let me put some more light how Amazon actually calculate these terms. Mm -hmm. So let's start with impressions. Yeah. An impression is counted every time an essay is displayed in the search result. And in search query impressions are the number of the results that pop up when a shopper runs a query on Amazon. It includes both results, it includes both essence uh, that are either organic or <coughs> PPC ad uh, campaigns. Uh, so 
it uh, but it exclude the uh, essence data displayed in the widgets like editorial recommendation uh, highly rated and top rated as well uh, so let's understand this exam this with the help of an example uh, so suppose if a buyer come on amazon and search uh, run a query for the running shoes and uh, there will be 50 essence displayed on uh, the say, search result page uh, so amazon is going to count the impression for that search query uh, will be the 50 and uh, if the person click on the second page and that is obviously 50 more essence are going to display on that page uh, so for that search query uh, for that specific time period uh, the imp total impressions will be the 100 and uh, now let's talk about uh, the brand share uh, suppose if uh, out of that 100 impression four uh, products were used so amazon is going to calculate your market share uh, of the total impression would be the four percent in this case and after uh, that, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I want to add something imp uh, important point here that uh, as a seller, uh, you may become a point that uh, how Amazon calculate. So it's very clear that um, according to my experience, mm -hmm. Amazon calculate each and everything on daily basis, mm -hmm. uh, every minute and even every second. Uh, mm -hmm. Whenever any query or any SN are searched by any person yeah. and clicked or imp uh, shown in any th uh, thing, Amazon will calculate it that and pro uh, provide this data uh, in this uh, Mm -hmm. Yes, you are right, Ms. Laha. So now coming back to the topic, let's talk about the click. Uh, click as an <clears throat> And click act as the interaction uh, with your essence. Uh, for example, after displaying your product, uh, people are going to interact with your product. Uh, it uh, tells you the total count of how many persons uh, interacted with your product for that specific search query. It uh, it gives you the actual traffic of your <coughs> brand and <clears throat> this is the, the place where you can see the immediate change if your rank organic ranking increase of or if you are using amazon ppc because these are the only way that you use uh, to increase your conversion and your interaction uh, with the uh, with your product of your buyers and at the loss there is a column called add to cart uh, it, it shows you that how many people uh, made the uh, add to cart uh, for that specific search query and after that it will tell you the what is the brand share of your uh, product in that add to cart as i told you that amazon in search query performance dashboard first amazon gives you the overall data of the uh, that search query and after that it gives you uh, the uh, <clears throat> your brand share in the percentage uh, so First, Amazon will calculate the total add to cost. After that, it will gives you uh, the your brand share uh, for that search query uh, for that specific time range. I would say. Great, right, that's great. So, uh, as you have explained, a lot of things about the time frame and the seconds as well. So, what time, uh, for, uh, what data time frame can you get in search analytics dashboard? Uh, when you land on your uh, report, the first option that you will receive is the time frame. Time frame is uh, actually is the date frame. From which you can, uh, from which you want to receive the data. So you can uh, select the time range for the last 30 days and even the seven uh, seven months data from this report. So this is the unique and uh, new feature that is only available in this tool where you can get information for all the date range. Hmm. So uh, what time frame should I use to analyze the uh, analyze and optimize the bid in search query performance dashboard? Uh, as far as I think that the optimal time frame mm -hmm. for the analysis in the search query performance test so depends upon what are you looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, if, we, if we go uh, in the search query and analytic dashboard, we see that uh, we have the option of customized time frame. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> we, we get the data on the basis of the monthly, quarterly and weekly as well. And uh, <clears throat> It doesn't only give you the data of the current year, it also gives you the data of the previous year as well. And uh, if you want to go for, if you want to check the uh, historical data, then you should go for the larger time frame. And, and if you want to go for the uh, shorter time frame, uh, that will be the case if you want to check the recent trends. Mm, got it. So why is the search query performance report is uh, amazing? Uh, you can't emphasize the enough data that is provided in this report is very important and it's provide authentic data mm -hmm. not for the brand advertiser uh, sellers and for all the information is that is available is very unique because Amazon provide us uh, and Amazon will show the data that he will consider you the top thousand search mm -hmm. queries the data you will receive here the total number of your search query search that uh, total number of search query in the given time 
time frame and also provide the uh, data of the uh, search query uh, data for how many time you click for specific uh, search query and how many impression you will receive and the most important thing that how many conversion you will receive against any search query so this is all the information is based uh, on purely the not only the estimation but it's uh, authentic data that is also provided by the first party tool uh, from the amazon so it's uh, authentic now uh, most of the time that i have uh, uh, this information is uh, based on the qd performance uh, the that is not available for any other tool like if you use the helium tan the helium tan is not give us the proper data based on the search query so it show the data for all over the market places but in this uh, you can search the data and find the authentic data based on your query as well so this is provided by the amazon but one important thing that as you know in most of the seller center we have registered more than one uh, brand so um, you may be confused that if i register more than one brand then how amazon will show the data yeah. as you know uh, for a specific brand we have some specific products so if you select the uh, any brand name only those information or data will be available that are associated with specific brand so this uh, uh, so don't be confused here that if any one product is not shown in there you have to select the specific brand so amazon will provide the uh, related to your brand and product information here yeah this could help sell uh, a lot because many of the sellers they do have the multiple yes. brands on amazon and might be they can get confused yes. how to see Fetch the data of different. Yes, Amazon will provide the option uh, mm-hmm. to select your yeah. brand name first, so you can get information there. That's very interesting. So we we already have discussed a lot of interesting thing about uh, this search analytics dashboard, but I think uh, the one thing that that could be missing here for the sellers because all the sellers they care about the number and for for any seller the number are very give uh, very big game on Amazon. So how search analytics dashboard can help us boost our sales? Yes, it is a worth noting point for yeah. discussing point. I would say, mm-hmm. uh, search query performance dashboard truly really shows how mm-hmm. shoppers are discovering your product. Uh, with these insights, you can pinpoint that either all the traffic that is coming on your detail page is either organic traffic or uh, through the via paid ads. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can also fine tune your marketing strategies. You can also mm-hmm. also make optimization mm-hmm. optimization to your listing. Uh, for the seo that can help you to better optimize your listing and to increase your organic increase your organic sales as well uh, so if uh, the search analytic dashboard tells you that you have low click and conversion uh, share and then you must uh, have uh, optimize your main image and also add the uh, search term in your title and alternatively you can increase your uh, budget increase your uh, bids for the high performing keywords in the search terms and the search analytic dashboard also helps you Uh, to catch the early trends and also helps you to give to the opportunity to you uh, for uh, improving your product and also to launch new product and you should uh, notify and uh, you should uh, identify the perfect strategy uh, by analyzing your market share uh, your brand share during the buying journey and if the search analytic tells you that you have low add to cart rate then uh, there may be a um, complex misalignment of your offer uh, with that search query which includes the uh, main image your product title and your bullets as well mm-hmm. while and, and, and if your brand share if your uh, conversion share is more than your impressions and it is also uh, more than your clicks and it is also more than your add to carts that this may be that you may be a uh, uh, high converting you are maybe most relevant for that keywords but uh, this may limits to your exposure uh, so i would suggest that to bid high on that keywords and try to uh, get more visibility as these are the relevant keywords for your product and you are getting more conversion on this so uh, i would say that uh, spend high budget on that keywords that would be the well converted Mm-hmm. keywords for you yeah. and at the end i would say that this is one of the best tool that amazon has ever launched and i have personally used this tool mm-hmm. and it has given me a lot of benefits it has helped me to increase my sales from my accounts and my different uh, accounts that i have handled uh, for this and uh, i would say this is Uh, the best tool that we can yeah use. definitely it gonna be the best tool in the market uh, yes. if we uh, completely utilize yeah. all the features because yes. i have discussed the things with you and golaha 
and we have covered a lot of things and uh, really I can say that if anybody who, who is watching this webinar and they utilize all of this information to improve their listing and sales, if they utilize all the information how to analyze the report and how to utilize the data from that report, definitely that brand gonna generate more sales as before they was doing because there is a lot of data that now Amazon uh, showed to you via search analytics dashboard and you can get a lot of things that was hidden before and now it's available to you. Just have to get the report, analyze the data, make the good decision and then utilize that data for your listings. So thank you so much uh, for watching this webinar. Uh, we have covered a lot of interesting information for you and in the future we're going to cover the same topics as we are doing before now. So if you want to cover us any of the topic or any of the update from Amazon, please uh, let them let us know in the comment section. We will try to cover in our next webinar in, in next session. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.